it's not the done story, but if you were to give a rating of where we've come from at the start of the year to where we are now, we're very, I put it, we're very happy. Because, you know, another thing people kind of seem to forget as well is the last, under Keith Rosser, the last couple of years, I know they didn't win a Leinster in All-Ireland, but the under-20s, like the year Kilkenny won the All-Ireland, like they only lost Kilkenny by a point in the Leinster final. You know, yeah. and so there's a, there's a crop of really good players that Keith obviously knows, and they're developing well because unlike Offaly, they're not trying to flood them all in and get seven yeah. or eight of them starting. It's there's a mix between the lads who've been there six, seven years, won a Leinster title a few years ago, and and then won whatever three under twenty ones Leinsters. Yeah. And then now there's these next batch of fellas around twenty one, twenty, twenty two that are like dude, some of the like Burn Dunbar, Dunbar, um, you know, Lawler, like these lovely little skillful hurlers that once they physically develop and get used to it under the stewardship of the older lads. Could be a serious, similar to Offaly, they're kind of probably a year away. Remember, it's always great for Leinster hurling when Westwood and Offaly are strong, and then throwing to Kenny and Galway, obviously, as well. Like in a couple of years' time, or maybe even this year, uh, well, I think Wexford would make a right dent in Leinster. I think so, Nisha, and, and, and you've said it through what I said last year that not only if we'd have went down, it would have been a disaster for Leinster hurling, you know, because we're, we're probably the biggest populated county or hurling county would have a big support and whatever so that's that's a that's a concrete kind of uh, uh foundation that we have at the moment that we we were struggling with in the last couple of years so no we have to have to say that that things are good